doing everything I know to do in my job search, but I keep failing. Why? I had this actual conversation with the most brilliant woman today who shared this with me. She was able to connect with someone who could help her understand the type of work she would be doing at a company she was curious about. She was interested in a position, wanted to know about the culture of a company, so she reached out to this person, played phone tag, really pursued him, and finally connected with him on LinkedIn. As she was talking to him, she realized she really didn't want to apply for the job she thought might be a fit for her. But in speaking with him, he was so impressed with her capabilities and her depth of knowledge. He said, why don't you send me your resume? I'm going to pass it on to people inside and I would love to do that for you. So she said, Elizabeth, I passed on my resume. What do you think? She wanted my opinion. I'm her friend and I listened and I told her, you know, my best advice is free on YouTube and you would do well to follow it. She kind of got quiet and said, well, what did I do wrong? I told her that 98% of what she did was absolutely right. She had reached out to a person inside of a company to learn more about its culture. She had positioned her value. She used all the follow-up techniques that were totally appropriate. But the 2% of what she did wrong would really derail her. So what did she do wrong? After all that she did was right, she sent this guy meaningless documentation, a generic resume, that if passed on would actually be used to disqualify her because it wasn't meaningful to the reader. It was one mistake, but it's a huge mistake. I told her to immediately reach out, come back to him, and ask if she could submit to him a well-written executive bio to reposition her value. Why am I sharing this? <laughs> because this is the problem for so many people who want to rush through things and not really follow a process. Let me use a weight loss analogy for you. Assuming that you're in normal uh, physical condition, that you have no medical problems, I can be the best trainer in the world. I can give you a perfect diet for your metabolism and your body composition and give you the best formulation for your weight loss goals. I can teach you perfect form and prescribe a daily workout for you. However, if you don't show up at the gym and you don't cook the food, everything I've given you doesn't matter. Economy of one is like that. It's, it's something that you really have to follow meticulously. It's not like a Vietnamese restaurant poo-poo platter where you kind of choose pick and choose what works for you. You need to actually do the process to get the results. Are you struggling? Are you like my friend who keeps getting up to bat, gets so close, but is not connecting? I'm gonna tell you today the things that I see people continually do that are the biggest problems. Number one, they're networking, but they don't form truly authentic relationships. Number two, they work on a generic resume, but do not customize it to make it meaningful at every submission. Number three, they're busy, but they're completely unproductive. They are applying to everything they can find online and then wonder why nobody is calling them back. Do you know your chances if you're applying online are one in a thousand? They are one in seven if someone walks you in. They're also working endlessly on an elevator pitch that no one remembers and no one knows how to use to actually help them. And finally, they are feeling increasingly like a desperate job seeker, like they are subservient to a heartless and broken employment system that increasingly is commoditizing them. Is this you? If this is you, my friend, I hear you. And I want to tell you, you are not alone. In fact, 90 plus percent of people looking for work are making the same mistakes you are. You're following what you think you've been told. If you need help, you need to follow the system because the results you're getting are not working. This is your choice. You don't have to take my advice, but like my friend, you really can't complain a year from now when you're in the same place. Back to my original story, my friend said when we really talked about what the resistance was to looking at the YouTubes, she said, I really hate systems and what has made me powerful in my past positions that I've held is actually my ability to work around systems. So I gave her the choice. I said, you know what? 
you can keep doing what you're doing, getting to the final interview or right up on the connection that you need to make and then blowing it. Or you can take the hard road. You can do what you don't want to do and take the process the bull by the horns. <laughs> you need to join our small group that's forming now. And so guess what? I am happy to report she is joining a small group. And my point today is you should join a small group too. Why? Number one, you don't want to do this alone. You need to be with a group of people that you can turn to for support. At Economy of One, if you will sign up for our newsletter, if you just go to economyofone.com, scroll to the bottom of the homepage, Enter your best address and we will send you a newsletter that will connect you to a ton of free resources. We want you to be in a small group with a very bright instructor that understands how to connect you to each step so that you make measurable progress and we get over this hump. Please subscribe now to this channel. This is Elizabeth Allen for the Economy of One channel. Thank you so much.